Alright, hello. You know, it's good. It's been a couple weeks. Uh, but Taco Bell came out with a new item, like an actually new limited time offer. It's the Rattlesnake Burrito. It's a burrito with fries in it. I'm pretty, pretty excited about this. I've always wanted, you know, fries in the burrito. And I know I could ask them to substitute that. But, I don't know. I don't like doing customized orders at fast food. Because either I'm a coward or just kind of feel bad. Like, it's, it's a fucking fast food place. Just get in and out of there, you know? Uh, anyway, he... It's, it's pretty, pretty small. This was fucking $3. It's like, that's already kind of points against it. Uh, got a nice bite of tortilla. Oh, got a little bit of sauce on it. It's the uh, creamy jalapeno sauce. Sorry, I, this sauce is really reminiscent of the uh, cream cheese we serve at work. Um, which is you know, okay. Works going pretty well. Uh, all right, got some fries. I think fries are a little mushy. They don't hold up super well, though. It does look like they've tried to separate the fries from the rest of the burrito, which I think is a pretty smart move on their part. Um, like it's like a kind of like you know tortilla tube, then fries, and then like another tortilla tube, and then some steaks. You know, uh, burrito exception. I've never seen exception. Never planned. Uh, Alright, got a little bit of everything. It's good, actually. It's pretty solid. Oh man, I'm so fucking tired. I've actually been busy for the first time in like months, and it feels good, honestly. Like, being, not really having free time. Well, having like free time, but like not free time of doing nothing, that kind of like free time where it's like I have stuff I need to do but not on a schedule and I now finally have enough energy to like do it and so I'm not going to bread like ex <clears throat> bed like uh, freaking out and paranoid all the time so that's nice um, yeah I'm actually getting to sleep except last night it was like one of those weird try to go to sleep earlier than you normally do and then stay awake for three hours past when you normally get to bed which is weird It's pretty good. Uh, got some jalapeno in there. Jalapenos are one of the few like vegetables that I think really hold up well uh, in fast food. Like they don't really lose their taste because like pickled jalapenos are what you want anyway. In my opinion, unless you're making something that requires fresh ones. I don't know, but yeah. Oh, I like unstruct semi unstructured time where you still have stuff to do. Like, imagine how great it would be to have like the gig economy, but instead of like having to freak out looking for the next available thing you could just like do whatever job you wanted to do when you wanted to do it like the kind of like inverse of what how it exists now like that would be pretty nice like i guess that's like basically what mark says with the whole uh like hunt in the morning fish in the afternoon read at night like that would be cool like i think the gig economy is like it's a promising advancement also the second tortilla tube's gone away i think that might have just been a mistake yeah. I don't know. I was reading something today. But yeah, I don't know. I feel... Yeah, the gig economy is like a really good example of the whole marketing idea of capitalism produces things that would be really great not under capitalism. Uh, like... I don't know. Like, after labor is unalienated and yours, like, being able to do what you want when you want is satisfying instead of hellish and terrifying and, like, un it becomes, yeah, free time becomes unstructured in a good way. Um, yeah, I think the alienation part's key. I was reading Benjamin again and he was talking about, like, how pictures are, like, made to, like, out of this urge for the masses to have things brought closer to them. Yeah, I think it's oversimplified, but I think that's to a degree sort of related to the whole thing of, like, being inherently separated from everything else. Like, starting with your labor, I guess, and therefore wanting things brought closer to you, despite knowing that that can never actually succeed. Which I think probably relates back to the, like, lack of aura, where he talks about mechanical reproduction or whatever. But yeah, I'm just sort of picture being, like, a substitute that can be 
like a stand-in for actually like having a non-alienated version of that object but like not in the end a satisfying one which is how it like ends up the aesthetic gets involved in politics and then you get fascism but you know in an ideal society we'd have completely useless art which is the only way for it to be good not that's not true actually I think it kind of is things should be made more useless yeah, this is actually really good um it should be a dollar or two less, I think, um, but uh, it's not too hot. Definitely doesn't require Diablo sauce or any sort of sauce like most burrito, uh, Taco Bell burritos do, because um, the creamy jalapeno actually packs like a decent amount of flavor. Uh, the fries, I wish they were a bit crunchier. Some crunchiness in a burrito is always really nice. The steak's kind of bland, I guess, and it's supposed to be one of the center piece of the burrito. That's how it goes, I guess, you know? The, uh, the primary, uh, the burrito, the steak is, uh, uh, fetish or whatever for the rest of the burrito. It's a stand-in for what the burrito actually is. <laughs> Joe's laughing at me. Joe's a much less mean filmer than Jesse is, though, so. Alright. So yeah, I'd recommend this burrito, actually. Um, especially if it comes part of a combo. Uh, otherwise, it's like, it's a nice one-off, but not a good enough value uh, to justify it otherwise. But yeah, uh, I don't know. Still so tired. Just gonna, I feel like I was gonna talk about some other stuff. But yeah, I like being productive. Uh, I'm like, yeah, feeling it's like building steam. Like you know, I start going to the gym, I start working on the rooms, and I start working, and suddenly I don't have much time, but I feel able to use the little time I have left to be like you know, increasingly actually doing stuff with it instead of just kind of aimlessly smoking. Uh, maybe I'll even apply to grad school and actually enjoy it. But, uh, anyway, yeah, good burrito. The Baja Blast machine at the Taco Bell was broken. Definite thumbs down there. I know, right? I like, don't know what a Baja Blast is. You don't know what a fucking Baja Blast is? It's like Mountain Dew, but it looks like floor cleaner. Oh, it's the blue thing. It's the blue one. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Me and uh, the house last year made a drink we called floor cleaner, which was a shot that was half diesel or Everclear and half Baja Blast. It tasted vile. That sounds horrible. That's something I would not recommend. Anyway, yeah, thank you for listening if you did. Thank you, Joe, for filming. Uh, yeah, have a good day.